Now, a section of politicians from Western Kenya have strongly condemned the move by ANC leader Musalia Mudavadi to work with Deputy President William Ruto. The leaders and a Democratic Action Party of Kenya say that his decision was catastrophic and doesn't resonate with the aspirants of the Luya community. They added that they would continue rallying behind ODM leader Raila Odinga. On Monday, the Democratic Action Party of Kenya at Chui House received defectors from ANC, including the former Speaker of the National Assembly, Kenneth Marende, former Nyamira Senator Kennedy Mongare, and Matungu Member of Parliament, Peter Nabulindo. A section of Western Kenya leaders hitting at Musalia Mudavadi for going against the wishes of the Luya people by opting to work with the Deputy President, William Ruto. Yesterday is a sad day because we saw, like the famous book in the Bible, our Yona being swallowed by a big fish. And today as we speak, Musalim Davadi, Moses Masika Wetangula are our two Yonas who are in the belly of the UDA fish. Musalia is going a wrong route. makosa the leader stamming his move as betrayal and an attempt to auction the Luya nation. Sisi wengine ambaya tulichagule wa kupitia ANC wakati huo hatuwezi kuenda huko. Na kiongozi viongozi wote wa western ambaya wamechagulewa. Sisi tunaenda azimio. Nitafagia hiyo nyumba ya ANC up to the last MCA atakuwa hapa DAP. Next week, wabunga yungine wanakuja pole pole. Paka ye nyumba ibakie blank. Musalia must walk alone. He threw a bomb, but did not realize that that bomb was wired on him. So my brother Musalia has blown himself up. This is court to dismiss remarks by ANC leader Musalia Mudavadi on plans to review the trade union if elected president. Court to Assistant Secretary General Benson Okwaro urged Modavad to focus on his political journey and desist from interfering with their operations. Court to Kenya is a movement <coughs> and it is not for Musala Modavadi to decide our fate. Our fate is already decided, it's decided by the Kenyan workers. We are there constitutionally and will remain irrespective of who takes over the government. Meanwhile, the Senate is said to hold a special sitting from Tuesday to deliberate on, among other issues, a report on political parties' amendment bill. During a similar sitting held on the 11th of this month, senators committed the bill to public participation before commencing debate. Finally, minority groups in Narok have said that they are ready to work with leaders who will cater for their interests. Led by their chairman, Maurice Owinga, the group is calling on politicians to preach peace and unity, even as they revealed that they were open to negotiate with all the aspirants, urging on its members to register as voters to have a stake in the country's politics. Let's see Prime Edition.